Welcome to this video. Welcome to Sheridan's twerk sesh. I'm not twerking, I'm not good at it. I'm in Vegas right now with these fools right there. Jazz and I are here shooting a video for As Is. Anyway, a lot of you guys have asked for my daily makeup routine and I've been hesitant to do it because I am not a makeup artist by any means, but I thought let's just turn on the vlog camera and do it raw because like my brushes are due for a cleaning and all my makeup is cracked <laughs> and dirty. So this is the truest form of me getting ready, the truest. So I always like put on this Vaseline lip balm. I take it with me literally everywhere and it smells so good. My lips are always so dry. It's like the desert. Every time I come to Vegas, my skin cracks like crazy. I woke up this morning and had to put on two coats of my like face oh, moisturizer. Oh yeah, like I always bring face oils and stuff here. Yeah. My face is so dry. Anyway, so I moisturize with this simple. I think it's just from Target. I've already put it on twice this morning, but I'm gonna put it on again. Guys, what's your favorite part about Vegas? Ooh, how it never sleeps. True. Like if you're hungry at 4:30 in the morning you will find a way to eat. We ordered room service at 1 a.m. and I ate a steak in bed and it was great. Do you hear me peeing? I hear you peeing. I don't know if the camera hears you peeing. I do my eyeshadow actually first because I'm not that good at eyeshadow and I mess up a lot. So if I mess up, I can just take it off. This is Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. I love it. You use it too? Yeah, is it the, the potion? Uh, yes. Hey. Oh. I take this really dirty brush that I need to clean. <laughs> I need to clean all my brushes. This is weird, but I kind of just put like this Laura Geller cool. palette. I put this sky, I don't know what name it is. It's just like a tan and I just right. put it over my eyelids just to like, a lot of people put concealer, but I just like cool. putting we'll powder. Do up right. there just to what, smooth what things out. And then from there, I have this Tarte sure. palette that I love, it's so dirty. I've had it for, since last Christmas, and I don't mean like 2017 yeah. Christmas, I mean like 2016 Christmas. Last Christmas. Um, <laughs> no, I don't wanna get copyrighted. <laughs> just because you sound exactly like Mariah Carey, like I can't deal with that. <laughs> Welcome to the most disgusting looking palette ever. This is, yeah. Well, like, I only the use the these colors on the, like, on the left I'm there. Sorry, um, clearly. Yeah, Should I just be the commentary of all the commentators? <laughs> this one is called Smarty Pants and I just take it. Is it for Smarty Pants? You're doing it wrong. Oh my God, she's Jennifer, doing it wrong. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not a professional. I can't believe you start your makeup like that. I like that color though. So I take that color and I just put it on my crease mm -hmm. and I just blend crease. it out as much as I can. Some days it looks darker than the rest. See, I get it all down here. That's why I put my eyeshadow on first. But I just embrace whatever happens with it, you know? It looks different That's every really day. good, Lindsay, to embrace everything about you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and your little dog too! Do <laughs> you use those hair ties that are made out of silk? Do they eat like creases? They're not supposed to, yeah. but they do. I feel like that's like partially a scam because putting anything in your hair is going to leave a crease. Yeah, exactly. Like, no matter what it is. Yeah, I know. Like, unless you're tying it with like mother like imagination, you're gonna have a crease. I take the Rebel, which is that one. I just take like a teeny tiny okay. bit. And I put it on the very outside of my eye. I attempt to make like oh, this radiant there. effect that, and also I just use the same brush for everything, okay? Oh, like I know you're not supposed to, but I do. This is the good one, this is the bad one. <laughs> so I just basically use two colors on my eye and then on the inner corners, I always put just like a light highlight or something like that. And usually in the Tarte palette, there's one right here, but I used it up, it's gone. <laughs> so I use this one from Laura Geller. Um, and it's just this light one. Again, literally just use this in the entire palette. I should probably learn new things. Right on the corner, and then I bring it around actually like in the middle. I saw Zoella do that once. All right, and then I do my, oh my God, that just broke. Why is it focusing on you guys and not me? Sorry. Come back. <laughs> it's just the weight of the world. And then I comb up my eyebrows and do my eyebrows next. And then I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow thing. Uh, there was another side to it, but it broke off. This is literally like just my life. Everything breaks. Eyebrows done, and now I put on my foundation. Oh no, that's not right. I put on my primer. The primer I have been using for as long as I've been using primer is the Benefit one. It's like the only one that doesn't make me break out. 
For foundation, I used the Naked Skin Urban Decay. Yeah, I like that. obviously love this so much. I went through a time where I was changing foundations a lot because I didn't like anything, but I like this one because it is great coverage. It looks so natural. And also you can either put it on really light or build it. I use the color 3.25, which honestly is a little bit dark for me right now, but I'm just kind of like holding out in the hopes that I get tan soon. For concealer, I use IT Cosmetics. I love this stuff so much. It was one of those times where I just walked in the store and I was like, hey, what's your favorite concealer to the Ulta lady? And she was like, this one. And I was like, okay, I'm not about to try them all. It's actually kind of really thick, but I like that because it covers everything. I'm balancing this camera on a glass cup, so let's hope it doesn't fall. <gasps> Do you even use concealer, Jasmine? No. Nope. You're perfect. I'm not lucky, I just don't do it, guys. Yeah, I could get away with not, I just, I, I don't know, I think it holds my makeup on for longer. Ugh, I always have this problem when I do my makeup, when I go like that, my forehead starts creasing. Usually when I put on my makeup, I have a towel over my head because it pulls my forehead back, so there's not forehead creases. I lost the lid to my Laura Mercier <laughs> powder, so I like put this random lid on it and then I taped it for travel with like packing tape, but it's working. I don't bake because I feel like that's a lot for me and I don't need to, but I just put my beauty blender in the powder just a little bit and then just lightly go over my under eyes, just like lightly. And I don't brush it away after that or anything like that. It just kind of settles in. And then I put a little bit on my chin and then I put a little bit on my forehead. I used to use powder all over because I thought that's what would hold all my makeup, but it would just make me look really dry. Um, and then I discovered setting spray. Um, I have this Benefit Quickie Contour Stick, which is very fun. It's very cute. It's so easy. I just go like that and like that and here. And here. I didn't know you used a cream contour. I like cream contour because powder is easy to fall off during the day. Okay. But if I blend it in as a liquid, it'll stick into my foundation. And then to blend it in, I do not use a contour brush. I actually use a foundation brush just because I think this one's really soft and it um, is really, I don't know, smooth. It's not the right shape or anything, but like if you just hold it in the right way, it doesn't matter in my opinion. And then for my nose, I either just like use the side of it or I just use this other brush that actually is like a contour brush to blend it in. For bronzer, I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. It is kind of dark, but what I've noticed is I put it on and then it just kind of blends, and it looks kind of a lot, and then it just kind of blends into my face throughout the day. If I'm filming a video or something, like it looks like I'm not even really wearing bronzer. So I put a lot on, but I just go over exactly what I had just did with my contour stick. And I think bronzer is totally what just gives my li life, <laughs> just gives life to my skin. My leg keeps falling asleep. Jasmine, are you asleep? I think she's trying. Wait, she actually is. <laughs> I love blush so much. I have so many friends that hate blush and never wear it and they look amazing and golden without Stop it. those friends. I love blush. I am obsessed with Chrissy Teigen. So when she came out with a palette, I got it. But also because it's a good palette, it comes with a lot of stuff and I don't use like this bronzier side just cause it's a little dark. What I do is this has a highlight and it's like a pinky highlight, which is too pinky for me. And this is too dark red for me as a blush. So what I do is I literally just drag the brush on and I mix them together and it creates just like this glowy blush. That is like a highlight slash blush, but I still put on highlight too. And I put a lot on. It's another thing that throughout the day, I just feel like fades. Take my highlight brush here. It is Sigma. I use a lot of Sigma brushes and I use a lot of just like real technique brushes. This Ofra highlighter, it's the Beverly Hills highlighter and it has all these different colors and they look really cool if you blend them together. But since I am really like pale right now, I've just been using this. It's very strong. Um, and I used to use it lightly, but now I just kind of go for it. But it is insane. I love highlights that aren't glittery and they just look like a straight strobe. A lot of people in videos called me like Rudolph. Do you remember in that, in that video? 
star video. A lot of people were saying that my highlight was too strong on my nose in the style box one, but like, you know what? The lighting was really dim in the pre-interviews. Yeah. And sometimes when the lighting is dim, your face looks shinier, but when you have more light on you, it just kind of washes you out more. Right. And like, I think I had a good amount of nose highlight on, but like, I do not remember looking like that in real no, life. Not at all. But I mean, nothing's wrong with nose highlight. A lot of you guys were responding to the haters and being like, I love the nose highlight. I was like, thank you. I really don't care if you don't like my nose highlight. I like it and that's all that matters. So I take the exact same brush that I was doing my eyeshadow with and I just um, kind of do the same thing under my eyes but just much more light and then I just take it and I squeeze it. Or you could use a small brush which is what it's intended for but you know, I don't have time for that. Put it under my eyes here. This is the lighter color. And then I take the darker color and then put it again at the corners. The biggest question I think I get asked regarding makeup, beauty, or whatever is what mascara I use. I have a very specific way I do my eyelashes. Before I put on my mascara, I brush out my lashes, <laughs> which is what I think people with eyelash extensions do. My whole life I've done this. I just found that it totally transforms my eyelashes. Um, so that way it's not clumpy when I put it on because when I wake up in the morning, they're not perfectly combed out, you know? Little guys are literally just at Target. I need a new one because it's breaking and I've had it forever. One time I got this eye lash primer in a beauty box and I was like, oh my God, it's like one of those like gimmick. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I have noticed when I wear mascara every day, my eyelashes do break off. And when I started wearing primer, I feel like they are full every day. But it's just L'Oreal um, Voluminous Base. And what I do is I literally just put barely of it, any of it on. It's white, so it's kind of weird when you first put it on, but you know. The mascara I use is L'Oreal's Thick Lash. It's like a collagen infused mascara and it has like this giant brush. I am obsessed with it. It's amazing, honestly. I don't use waterproof because I want to be able to get my mascara off easily at the end of the night. Um, but I don't find this to run ever. Like look at that difference. Like that is actually <laughs> insane. I am so proud of myself because I have an eyelash trick that Probably other people know, but I think it's cool. <laughs> to get my under eye lashes, I take a Kleenex, I put under my lashes, right here, and I go like that. Because if I don't, it gets everywhere. Boom. And lastly, I take my setting spray that I live and die by, the NYX. Is it NYX or NYX? It's NYX, right? I think it's NYX. Ooh, I say NYX, or is it NYX? I say NYX and I think it's wrong. <laughs> Wait, which is probably bad because you don't want to like NYX the makeup. Right? Yeah, because NYX is kind of negative. Anyway, I spray so much. I'm weird and I try to keep my eyes open because if I close it, then my mascara gets on my cheeks. And you do the fanning. You gotta fan it. Whoop! Jasmine is straight up sleeping. <laughs> She's a very heavy sleeper. Like she has no idea I'm talking about her right now. What I wear, I kid you not, every freaking day, the Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is my second one that I've gone through and I need to get a third. I am obsessed with gloss and I don't know, it's like, it's not too light and it's not too thick and it's not too sticky. Cool, and that's it. Definitely takes me a short amount of time to do it when I'm not talking to the camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> and when they're not distracting me. I don't know, do I have to do that thing where I like show it off? Like, here I am. I'm scared to show too close because everyone's gonna be like, flaw, flaw, flaw. What do I, how do I end this thing? Here, then come end it with me. Cause you look beautiful. No, I don't. Put yes. My hair up. Look at these pants, they're so cute. I need to get out of my PJs. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. <laughs> Go watch the video that Jasmine and this I made. Thank you. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't like sweat off, I but know. it looks great. Yeah, it's gonna rain today, so. Oh great, perfect timing. Perfect. <laughs> it's basically a big BFF um, shopping challenge. In Plus Vegas. Sheridan. Plus Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know it was gonna be here. We literally were like here I and then Sheridan was like, I'm here. Wheel. It's <laughs> my favorite. So we're gonna go shop for each other right now and party and eat a lot of food. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. I wanna like film Jasmine sleeping, but she'll probably hate me. <laughs> Wait, Sheridan's oh, literally sorry. filming her. <laughs> She's like a little baby.